Now, for those of you living in the coastal regions of South Carolina, you're probably familiar with the grocery store called Piggly Wiggly. They recently joined the ranks of Costco, Trader Joe's, and Walgreens by releasing their own store-branded beer. Costco has their Kirkland Signature Series, Trader Joe's has their name tag lager, and Walgreens has Big Flats 1901. Now, Piggly Wiggly has released their Pig Swig, which hit shelves around Memorial Day of 2011. It comes in two different styles. The lager is called Pig Pen Pilsner, and the ale is called Pigtail Ale. Both are covertly being brewed by a local craft brewery in the upstate of South Carolina named Thomas Creek Brewery. You can buy this beer exclusively at corporately run Piggly Wiggly stores. The independently run stores may or may not carry it. The one that I went to didn't. When it was first poured, there were about two inches of a nice creamy head. It's a really deep amber color. Um, it looks like there might be some crystal malts, uh, possibly 40 or 60 or possibly both. And um, there's, there may be a small percentage of some dark roasted malts as well. It smells similar to an English brown ale. Uh, there's a pronounced maltiness with a very light English hop character. Um, it's definitely got an English fruitiness about it. Cheers. Well, just like it smelled, it tastes like an English brown ale. It's very similar to Newcastle. Again, with the pronounced maltiness, with a very light English hop character, it definitely has that characteristic fruitiness of, of English beers. Uh, they possibly used an English ale yeast, which is going to impart those sort of fruity flavors. Now, I would say that this is probably the same beer as Thomas Creek's Appalachian Amber Ale, rebranded for Piggly Wiggly. If you want to check out the technical information on that beer, just go to the link. Is it worth the money? Hmm. That's a tough one. My first thought when it comes to store brand beers is that they're supposed to be economically priced. This beer has a price of $7.99 per six pack. To me, that's not an economically priced beer. In comparison, Costco store brand costs $4.75 per six pack if you break it down. Trader Joe's costs $2.99 and Walgreens beer costs $2.99. So if you figure that a store brand would cost no more than $5, now don't let the title store brand sway your opinion before you even try it. Think of it as a really good craft beer that happens to be cursed with the title store brand. It's just too bad that most people won't give it a chance because it says pig swig. This will be for one of two reasons. Either because the rednecks that drink cheap, no-flavored beer are looking for cheap, no-flavored store brand. But this costs too much, and if they were even willing to give it a try, they'll find out that this is actually a full-flavored beer that's not suited to their piss-water drinking palates and don't want to drink it again because of the combination of cost and taste. Or, on the other side of the spectrum, the craft beer drinkers won't be willing to try it because they think it's a no-flavored store brand and don't want to fork out the $8. So is a store brand worth $7.99? No. Piggly Wiggly probably priced themselves out of the market. I applaud them on what they were trying to do, but my previous two reasons are probably going to be this beer's downfall. So I guess it comes down to taste and quality. Based on that, is the beer worth $7.99 per six pack? Yes. This is about average for a typical six pack of most craft beers. So, if you love good beer, don't miss out on this one. Don't let the title store brand turn you off. If you're in the coastal areas of South Carolina, find your closest Piggly Wiggly, pick up a six pack of Pigtail Ale, and enjoy a well-crafted beer. So remember, drink what you like, enjoy what you drink, and I'll see you next time.